Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you um, what you can do with your dry clay pieces and if they've ripped or something. So this is supposed to be a cupcake, but you know, there's just holes in it, it's cracked, it's ripped. And I'm going to show you how to fix that all just with paint, okay? So what I'm going to do is just move that on the side and clean off my brush a little. Alright. Alright, so, I'm trying to just kind of clean off my brush, there's so much paint on it everywhere. Okay, so what we want to do is you want to start off with a metallic or silver paint. Alright, so this is acrylic craft paint, uh, 72773 metallic silver, okay? So that's that, and it's by my studio. Okay, so we want to open this. These are like super hard to open. But um, so remember this is air dry clay and it's completely dried. It's not wet in any shape or form. Um, it's completely dry and I am sick so that's why I'm sniffling and doing all that fun stuff. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to open your paint or if you're having trouble like me. It's like in the crease. Okay, hold on. Okay. Good. So, take your metallic silver and just put it in a regular uh, paint bowl, whatever, you, whatever you're using for putting your colors in. Okay. So, take that silver. Just put some in the bowl, okay? So this is what the color looks like, all right? So I'm going to take my paint brush, all right? And I'm going to kind of just mix that silver, all right? I'm gonna spread it all around in this white bowl, making sure that there's no bubbles, all right? Great. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take the silver because this silver kind of matches the clay color. We're going to just simply dab it in those creases. And I know it looks darker than the clay, but when it dries, it's going to look different. Alright, so we're just going to kind of smother it all around, including in those creases and holes. Alright, and we're just going to apply it. We already do need some more silver. Okay, that should be plenty. Okay, so once again, this is acrylic craft paint. Alright, so I'm just going to dab it in those creases. And then start painting. Um, what I usually tell people to do is if you don't have any cracks or anything in your clay you always want to have a base coat of something so white um black gray something or if you just want to use that same color always do a first layer of that color first let it dry and then add more all right so fill in all those creases kind of just dab it So it's looking pretty good so far. All right. So I am adding a lot of paint um, and I'm spreading it out the best I can because if there's cracks and all that you really need to fill in those cracks. Okay, so that one is all set, and I'm just going to <coughs> say, like, that's the 
color and then this is like the regular clay so it's really that much really not that much difference um so yeah you know it's really not that bad but so that's like kind of how you fill in the cracks um and if you want to do a design like for example this was a snowman that i did in my last video so he's all painted and looking cute um what you can do for like designing for that is just take your paintbrush you know do like little buttons make sure that it's not too wet or anything okay but do like little buttons And then you can do the scarf. For the scarf, I put your paintbrush like flat down. And then go from there. Because it is kind of hard to do. And then I kind of continue it from the side. And like a curvy view. Now that does kind of require a lot of layering in the paint. So you don't see the pink. And then you're gonna go down and do the scarf. Okay. The next thing you can do is, um, you know, obviously the hat. The hat can have that color. Okay. Or if you really want, like, if you mess up on something, you can just like repaint over it. And then once the that dries, you can add that pink back. Alright, so I'm, I don't even know, like, what I'm doing right now. I'm just, like, adding colors to just kind of show you guys that it's not going to blend in. And it's not going to look bad, you know? Like, I can add this silver on top of this pink. And, you know, it's coming out as, like, a silvery, um, metallic. But, like, you can see the pink in the background. So, I'm just going to show you that. Okay. All right, so that's pretty good. Okay, so yes, yeah, so that's like a silvery kind of pink. Actually, like that looks really pretty. This is what that kind of looks like. It's like a silvery pink. Looks cute. All right, so that's it for pretty much today's videos. I did like three. But, um, so yeah, comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think, and let me know if you want to see more.